welcome to part 7 of our threat hunt using jupyter notebook session guys so in this session we are going to hunt for defense evasion and we are going to look for dll injection via create remote thread and load library okay so now um, what is exactly uh, we are going to do over here if you want to see the hypothesis over here adversaries might be injecting a dll to another process to execute code via create remote thread load event library and stuff like that okay so now there could be two things either you get a handle or you attach a handle to a target process okay so the malware first need to target a process for injection for example like svc host.exe and this is usually done by searching through the process by calling a trio of application okay which is we call as like windows api like create tool help 32 snapshot filter 32 first and process 32 next okay so once you have done that after finding the target process the malware get the handle of the target process and it open the calling process okay so that is the whole notion how this dll injection basically happens okay so now in this particular area so what is the trade craft that we are looking for this technique is one of the most common techniques and the malware authors very much use it because it's very much easy to hide itself inside a dll library and when it is gets a process allocated into virtual address you will ensure the remote process loads it by creating a remote thread in the target process so that is the easiest thing of it okay so we are going to hunt it the way we are going we have done it in past we are done the initialization uh, we will do the data loading we will do the data parsing and then we will go for the analytics section where we will see there could be two analytics in this particular area okay so if you need to see any of the process like data loading data parsing and why we are doing all of this fancy stuff you can refer to the part one episode where we have explained everything from scratch okay so how we are doing the data parsing what is the notion of it and how this uh, uh, spark creation is being done and all those stuffs but for this tutorial we just want to focus on the threat hunt portion okay you can by the way you can pause this particular video and you can keep on uh, writing the way that i am writing on it okay okay so our first analytics is look for any use of create remote thread function or uh, that is being run by remotely and how we are going to do that we are going to look for process right to a process okay which is basically windows event id 7 and we are look we will look for kernel 32.dll and a start function where it could be a load library.a okay and just see this particular query you will see that exact thing that i have told you event id 8 looking for kernel 32.dll and load library so now if you see this particular output over here so you will see easily you will try to identify that this particular machine over here um, this particular machine is obviously trying to do some harm right so now if you see if you uh, see this is a workstation uh, 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 workstation 5 okay and the source image is the windows powershell uh, dot exe and what is this target it is trying to target the notepad.exe guys right isn't it very interesting so what exactly the thing is going on over here so the user right so the user is trying to identify um, uh, maybe it could be anything uh, the user process and user stuff like that and it is trying to load or trying to load that particular dll inside that notepad directory so that is the main thing guys okay so now let me move on to the next analytics where we will try to identify if the same file is being created or loaded okay so that means we will look for process loaded dll which is windows event id 7 and process creation dll which is windows event id 11 and both are from windows sysmon log and if you just pause this particular video for a second so you will easily understand we are trying to identify the same host 
if it is being created the same process or not which is our notepad.exe now if you see we haven't seen any of it so that means this particular time our hypothesis has been proven wrong but that is not the case like you will see that your hypothesis is uh, like 100% uh, true positive right so it could be false positive as well so that is the reason we haven't seen any output in this particular area but if this hypothesis has been proven true there could be possibility that uh, this you will see that the target file name and the system file name is same on that where we have seen the notepad.exe is being run but still you need to go and identify why powershell is trying to execute notepad.exe that is another point that you need to look for so yeah that's pretty much it for this one i'll look into it and i will see you in the next session